In this video I'll be going through how to replace the fuel filter in a 7.3 Power Stroke diesel engine. This particular engine is in a 2001 Ford Excursion and the current mileage is 330,000. I have the AC Delco brand of filter. It's still a good brand even though it's not Motorcraft, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, and I bought the filter that actually comes with the top plastic piece, the little lid on top of it. You can buy filters where you replace just a filter element, but I like the type that comes with the whole thing. That way when I take it off, I don't have to worry about cracking or damaging it because the whole entire filter assembly is being replaced. It's only a couple bucks more, and to me it's worth it. But you can get just a filter element. The recommended interval on these filters is 15,000 miles. I've seen some people go 30, but I personally prefer 15,000 because of how expensive the fuel system is to replace should any contaminants damage the pump or injectors. A $50 filter is well worth replacing a little bit more often to save your four, five, six thousand dollar injectors and high pressure fuel pump. Plus, if you ever get behind in maintaining the vehicle for some reason, you know that you're ahead of schedule replacing this filter every 15,000. So first things first, you'll need a little drain pan to catch the fuel that runs out from the fuel bowl when you drain it. Then you locate the fuel filter bowl under the hood. It's usually behind this little power stroke cover here. Um, and the valve is yellow and it's in the back. Push it towards the back of the engine. It opens up and out goes the fuel. And into the drain pan it goes. You're not gonna catch everything because it splashes everywhere but you'll catch the majority of it. Now if you're reusing the top of the fuel filter housing, you want to make sure that you don't use a claw type oil filter wrench. But because I'm replacing it, I don't have to worry about damaging the top of the filter housing. So I use an oil filter wrench to take it off. Here's the old fuel filter, and as you can see, there's already debris and all kinds of stuff sitting on top of the filter that it's keeping out. That's why it's critical to change these filters frequently. One little fun fact here, you'll notice that element down in the bottom of the fuel filter bowl. That is a heating element. What that does is that heats the fuel in the winter time so that when it enters the combustion chamber after being injected, it ignites easier. It helps the engine start when it's cold as well as run better while warming up in extreme cold temperatures. Now what we're gonna do is install the filter seal. There are two seals, one goes on the housing and one goes on the filter here. I always take just a little bit of diesel fuel and coat the seal with it so that way it slides on easily. You don't have to worry about tearing the seal. And then this small diameter seal goes around the filter housing like this. Next is the bevel seal. Now the important thing to remember about the bevel seal is the beveled edge faces up. The flat surface, which you see here, rests on the filter bowl. The beveled edge faces up towards the filter housing. It's very important that you get that put on correctly. So making sure that the seal is not upside down, we'll place it on the filter bowl. And then carefully install the new fuel filter. Now there's no need to get this any more than hand tight, just like you would an oil filter. You can always go back and tighten it more. 
The reason I recommend that is because it makes it so much easier to get off when you go to replace it next time and you don't have to worry about damaging the housing. And last but not least, don't forget to shut the valve off on the fuel filter bowl so you don't leak fuel all over the place after you start up the vehicle. Now that you've replaced the filter, you're ready to prime the fuel system. So you put the key in the ignition, turn it to the run position, but do not start it yet. What this does is this purges any air out of the system. You want to let the key sit in the run position for a couple minutes, turn it off, and then turn the key back on again and let it sit for another couple minutes. This will ensure that every bit of air is purged so your high pressure fuel pump and injectors don't encounter a dry start. While the fuel system is purging, it's a good idea to check for leaks. Check around your fuel bowl, make sure the valve is off, and make sure there are no leaks. Check underneath the vehicle and make sure no fuel is dripping, usually an indication of a seal not seated correctly or the drain valve left open. After you've purged the fuel system, go ahead and crank her up. One last final check for leaks under the hood while the engine is running. And that's all that's to it. Keep up with routine maintenance on your 7.3 and you too can get 330,000 miles out of your original high pressure fuel pump and fuel injectors. Hope you enjoyed the video.